Good morning, friends. おはようございます。Welcome to this channel. If you are new, my name is Miwa. I'm a mom of two boys living in Tokyo, Japan. It's Saturday. I'm gonna show you what I cook for my family to beat the summer heat. It has been so hot here in Tokyo. How about where you live? I hope you guys are all doing well. We usually start with Japanese style breakfast. It's composed of one rice, one soup, and three side dishes, which is called Ichiju Sansai in Japanese. If I don't eat well balanced food, I often reach for something sweet in between the breakfast and lunch, so my family eats quite a substantial amount of food in the morning. Real food first. It's something I always keep in mind. For miso soup, I opt for onion, eggplant, okura, and tofu. I use a dashi packet which has a chunk of bonito flakes and kombu. All you have to do is steep in for a couple of minutes and discard. It's convenient and it makes the soup very flavorful. You might find one in Asian supermarkets or I have a shop link, so let me put the link in the description box. I made this cucumber ginger salad as a meal prep on the weekend. It's crunchy, refreshing, and requires only a couple of ingredients. It's vegan, so I hope many of you will enjoy this. Natto is something we eat at least three times a week. It's a fermented soybeans, a great source of protein, and it has a well balanced fiber. In short, it's a great for gut health. Lastly, on top of the rice, add extra umami booster, which is nori no tsukudani in Japanese. It's basically a nori paste seasoned with the soy sauce and the meringue. This is also what I made in the meal prep. Meal prepping is what sustains our family's health. By the way, thank you very much for applying for an online cooking course I announced last week. I got an overwhelming number of you applied for our first five students. My team and I were so grateful for all of you. For those who are hearing this for the first time, in this course, we will help you to establish healthy cooking habits by going through the fundamentals of Japanese cooking and effective meal planning. The official launch will be around October or November, so feel free to look around the website and sign up for the waitlist. The link is in the description box below. Hi guys, we are back an hour ago and we took a nap and shower because it was so hot outside. We are all exhausted. <laughs> If you are planning to come to Japan summer, I don't recommend summer unless you love the heat and humidity. My favorite season in Japan is spring and autumn. Anyway, it's 4 pm, so I have to make a dinner for my family, and I'm thinking something quick and but still very filling. So let me show you what I make. We are starting by making some tofu omelets. It's inspired by a Spanish omelet with a Japanese flair to it. Chop carrot, onion, and potato into small pieces. You can keep it bigger, but just remember it will take you longer to cook. To the pan on high heat, add about one tablespoon of oil, make a swirl. In goes carrot, onions, and potatoes all at once. Sprinkle on some salt. Give it a good stir until vegetables start to sweat. Then cover with the lid and steam it until it's nearly fully cooked. Make sure to keep the heat low, otherwise, it's gonna burn. In the meantime, we're gonna make my kids' favorite onigiri. It's the one from my Japanese breakfast cookbook. Just combine bonito flakes, soy sauce, edamame, and cheese together. 
If you are vegan, you can swap bonito flakes for kombu. If you have any substitute for cheese, please help us in the comment section below. I always appreciate your knowledge. Adding something to the rice is a great way to amp up the nutrition to your meal. I sometimes make this onigiri just with the miso soup when I don't feel like cooking anything time consuming. Make a triangle shape in the plastic wrap. I recommend using a plastic wrap for this time since unlike regular plain onigiri, it's hard to make every component stick together. Let's check on the omelette. It's cooked but still retains the texture. At this point, scramble tofu into the pan along with sugar and soy sauce. I recommend using extra firm tofu for this. We just keep stirring until most of the liquid has evaporated. At this point, remove it from the heat and let it cool down a bit. I need to have some salad just brighten up the table so let's make that. Diced cucumber, bell pepper, cherry tomatoes, avocado, and corn. I tend to crave these five vegetables in summer. Do you have any particular food you crave for in summer? For dressing, combine salt, vinegar, lemon juice, soy sauce, honey, or your favorite sweetener, and olive oil. The dressing goes with pretty much any type of vegetable, so feel free to make a batch and enjoy throughout the week by changing up the vegetables. As always, the recipe link is in the description box below. We are almost ready! Clack eggs and whisk until you reach a uniform yellow color. Add tofu and vegetable into eggs and combine them all together. We could just skip the combining process and pour the eggs directly into the pan, but I found the eggs tend to stick at the bottom in a way. Rinse the pan and grease it with a little bit of oil. Pour the vegetable egg mixture into the pan and cook it over high heat. Make a swirl with your chopsticks or spatula vigorously until egg is halfway cooked, approximately 1 minute. Lower the heat and cover with the lid. Steam for another 3 minutes. When the egg is firm enough to slide, slide the egg omelette onto a large plate and then flip to cook the other side. And that was my original plan, but I totally messed it up. <laughs> We ended up steaming until omelette was cooked all the way through and flip it to the plate. On the next day, I actually tried again with a stainless steel pan. ほら、見て。見て。あ、ゆうちゃんだ。ステンレス。はい。すごい。よ。うわ、スライド。こうやって。辛い問題は。あ、怖い。熱い。あ、熱い。熱い。熱い。熱い。熱い。熱い。熱
せーの入って熱い熱いあ綺麗綺麗だけどございますお力があ綺麗イエーイあこれよこれ I was so relieved to share the better result with you guys. The key to success is that we have to heat the pan well and grease the surface enough before actually pouring the egg mixture into the pan. Overall, my family liked the omelette even though it didn't look like the way I expected. <laughs> Some of you asked me, How do you feed picky kids, Miwa? To answer this, in the next video, I'll be sharing 9 tips for picky eaters. So stay tuned. I think that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye. Mata ne. Take care. Mmm. Mmm, it's delicious. Let's go. It's delicious. It's delicious.